love to preach to. That's just the way I've been taught to do. Amen. Amen. Because one person's got to get to heaven as well as 100. Got to Amen. Get to that's right. So I don't count his. Amen. Amen. I count Amen. the soul. The soul oh, yeah. is the thing that's important to me. Amen. Certainly I honor God tonight for you taking time out of your shit. I know. I know it's Mother's Day. I know people are ripping and running. I know I've been there. My wife done all that. She did her early in the week. Amen. So she got it out of me early. <laughs> early like wisdom. Amen. Running early on me, Harold. Yeah. Mr. Thomas, so that's just the way it is. We know it's your day, and I'm not, I wouldn't dare jeopardize it because the mothers are some important people. Amen. 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 They are just important people. You don't, if you have a mother that's on this earth, you are blessed. And if you had a good mother, you still were blessed Amen. because you Amen. have to be some stuff in you. Amen. Amen. And that should hold you. Amen. Until you meet her in glory. And I'm glad to be here tonight. Amen. I thank God for my family. They always uh, have come to uh, be a blessing to me. Now, I understand that a prophet is not honored in his own country. Amen. That's just the scripture. That's what the word of God says. Amen. I don't look forward to all, all of my family members to come. Amen. You know, if I was T.D. Jakes, that place would know what. Amen. <laughs> if I was somebody they watch on TV that they know real, that they think they know. It's funny how people know you, mm -hmm. amen, and they won't come out to support you. But I'm appreciative of, and, and everybody got different reasons why they can't come out. I, I know I understand people are busy, especially this particular set, this mm -hmm. season. Mother's Day, oh, yes. Everybody going to look beautiful tomorrow, and I know you are. <laughs> amen, and I know the mothers are. So I, I, I'm always grateful to see my family, mm -hmm. amen, especially Anthony. He had not turned me down yet. If he said no, I'd have been disappointed, but I went on. <laughs> Amen. I, but I would have been surely disappointed. <laughs> Amen. That he had told me, no, man, I can't come. I would have been too disappointed. And he sung a song that ties in with what I want to talk about tonight. I feel the spirit moving. Amen. Where is it moving? Way down in my soul. And the last time I was here, before I get started, I, I ain't going to honor nobody but this young man because I left him out of the name last night. The last time I was down here, his name is Bobby Prime. <laughs> Uh, last time I was here, I'm calling everybody's name. <laughs> they go, Anthony. They go, so and so and so and so. I, it dawned on me after I got through preaching here and went there. I said, man, I went to him perfectly. I said, no. <laughs> I said, they is not going to catch me twice. <laughs> I want y'all to give Bobby a hand for this being <laughs> kept me tonight. Could have been a whole lot of other places. Yeah. Amen. Could have been doing a whole lot of other things. Yeah. And I appreciate you, man, coming to see your little cousin. Amen. You say, but you know, he's not well known, but at least I know of him. <laughs> anytime it's good to see somebody in the family, I, I'm always blessed whether it be one or one hundred. It don't make me no difference. But tonight I have a uh, word from God that I would like to drop into your your mindset tonight. I was thinking about it with Mother's Day, and I was going to tie it in. And, Bishop, they sent me something over the internet, and I saw that it mentioned something about the Holy Ghost explosion. And then Anthony got up and sung the song, I feel the spirit. So I know I don't need to change that by Mother Doctor. That's right here. A very familiar passage of scripture is out of the book of Acts, chapter 2. Amen. 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 You've heard about this, the day of Pentecost. Amen. It's been preached so oftentimes. Some of you can almost quote the scriptures verbatim. Amen. I must memorize the word within your hearts. But I want to share with you tonight, amen, that and when you talk about an explosion, you talk about something that's being blown up. Amen. Talk about something that's getting ready to take place. It's good to see uh, is it the dog? Uh, mm. Delaney is what I'm trying to think. Delaney, it's been 30 years. You heard Harris say we've been preaching over 30 years. <laughs> And I just suffered a stroke in 2010, so my brain ain't quite up to par yet. As long as I've been knowing you, the, for the longest that I've been knowing you, and as far back as we go, amen. So uh, forgive me for being the old side. And it escapes my mind, but it's good just to see you tonight. Amen. Man, it's good, good just to see you. Thank you for coming. Now, uh, 
It's out in the book of Acts, chapter 2. I'm going to begin reading that verse 1, and then I'm going to skip uh, to verse 14. I'm going to begin reading it because it's be kind of lengthy, but I just going to tell you what I want to do tonight. Out of the book of Acts, chapter 2, I'm going to reading that verse 1. Uh, and then I'm going to be doing some skipping. Uh, to get to where I want to go. Let us pray. Precious eternal God, our Father, is in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We stand before you tonight, that empty picture before a full fountain, desiring that you would fill us up, even that there be an overflow, God, so much that will run down unto others that will cause men to come running. God saying, what must I do to be saved? We ask you to bless God, your blessed word again. God, he lighten the eyes of the saints of God, that they might see the hidden revelation of your word tonight. God, to see what you are saying unto them. We ask you to bind the powers and the forces of Satan and his demon forces and all that's not like you back into the pits of hell from whence they come. Oh, God, we would that you would come and visit us, God. God, let your anointing fill this place in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ and have your way in the service. As you go, God, right now to let Harriet shut up, God, as you speak out of him. Let Harriet sit down as you stand up in him. Hide me behind the cross, God, that the people of God might see all of you and hear all of you and none of me. For we ask these and all blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Let the redeemer of the Lord say, Amen. 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 And uh, it's out of the book of Acts chapter uh, 2. I'm reading out of the King James Version. And uh, you should see words similar to these. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a word from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. There appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. He began to speak and they... Uh, and they began, they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Go with me to the 14th verse when it says, But Peter standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hurry it unto my words. But these are not drunken as ye suppose. Seeing it is, it is uh, but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. It shall come to pass that in the last day, said the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And all my servants and all my handmaidens will I pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above. I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and noble day of the Lord come. It shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I want to talk to you from the subject matter of the Holy Ghost explosion. Amen. Amen. It's a Holy Ghost explosion. Uh, when today in which we live, Amen. People don't talk enough about the Holy Ghost. Amen. A lot of times people don't know what that really is. We've heard preachers talk about it in our churches, but oftentimes we are not uh, clear on what it is. Now, those of us that have the Holy Ghost, we know, amen, what it is. But for those of you who may not have it, uh, there was such an occasion in the Bible where there were some disciples of John the Baptist. And when the disciples were preaching and, and talking about the Spirit of God, uh -huh. they said to, uh, to Peter, after he, had finished, after he had finished preaching the Word of God, it was said unto them, uh, they were asking how, have you ever, have you heard of the Holy Ghost? They said that we didn't even know there would have been right. such Amen. a Holy Ghost. What's that? They were acting like it was something new. Yet though they followed John the Baptist, but uh, you got to understand that when you are not uh, 
in a situation where you can 